Hello and welcome to the second part of the lecture Governance in the Digital Age, the State of Affairs, Opportunities and Challenges for the Board of Directors. In this video, we will talk about how board members are impacted and coping with big data. This section is based on findings of an academic study carried out in 2018 by Merendino from the Conventry University about the impacts of big data on board-level decision-making. We proceed discussing how board members use information for decision-making and then we will reflect on the gap between information overload caused by big data and other digital technologies and the blind spot caused by a lack of data analysis and interpretation. Worldwide, data creation will grow to enormous 163 zettabytes by 2025. That's 10 times the amount of data produced in 2017. By 2025, 75% of the population will be connected, creating and interacting with data. In 2025, the average person will interact with a connected device over 4,000 times a day. And by the same period, over 25% of data created in the global data sphere will be real-time in nature. And IoT, Internet of Things, real-time data will make up more than 95% of this. Again, by 2025, Almost 9% of all data created in the global data sphere requires some level of security, but less than half will be secured. Big data are sets of data generated by several sources of information, low-cost computing capacity, the most stable communication networks with the highest traffic band, such as 4G and now the new 5G technology, a the number of devices capturing and transferring this data over the network in very high volumes. They are petabytes of information generated every day by devices connected to the web, such as smartphones, smartwatch, connected household appliances, production line machines, vehicles, and the list goes on. The data sets collected by companies such as eBay, Walmart, Facebook, reach the size of petabytes, 1 million billion bytes, 100 times the information content of the largest library in the world. The mining of big data opens up entirely new possibilities for process optimization, the identification of interdependencies, and decision support. However, big data also comes with new challenges, which are often char characterized by four criteria. Volume, the file size and the number of, of records are huge. Velocity, the data evaluation has often to be done in real time. Variety, the data are often very heterogeneous and unstructured. And veracity, the data are pro probably incomplete, not representative and contain errors. This data has some characteristics with uh, the term big data has adopted. The first one is the large volume of information and data. The second characteristics is the speed of processing this information with smartphones and televisions connected to the internet, data centers virtualization, and now cloud computing, allowing for a lower cost and faster processing and storage of data. The authenticity or veracity of the data is also an important aspect of big data. To extract value from this data, however, a lot of financial and human resources are needed to sift to this data, organize and extract meaning from a huge number of correlated variables each other. However, recent studies suggest that organizations do not have the capability to store, manage, and analyze big data. A lack of awareness that using big data as a capacity or a tool has the potential to improve their decisions means that some companies will find themselves in trouble with some stakeholders. Therefore, the board of directors may be looking at opportunities to build companies' capabilities and capacities 
through strategic partnerships. But how are the actual board of directors' relationship with big data and what are the impacts on board members and their decision making? The majority of boards have a sense that data could help their businesses, but they are invariably baffled by it and stuck in an old school mentality about decision making. Forward looking boards are shifting towards becoming of strategic and value creation focused body and make use of big data. However, findings from studies indicate that majority of the board members feel they need to spend more time learning while dealing with the pressure for results and faster decisions. In fact, it leads to a cognitive capability shortfall, meaning that board of directors lack the required technical capabilities, and those need to integrate, build, and reconfigure the necessary internal and external competences to use the data. Although the basic principle of using data to inform decision making has not changed, big data requires a more sophisticated set of skills to sort and prioritize data. And a different approach to decision making, rather than the linear and traditional process of beginning, middle, and end of the traditional board directors are used to. This conflict between the need for a new set of skills, capabilities, and the traditional way of thinking creates another problem, which is the cognitive biases. For example, the inquiry bias, in which old ways of thinking inhibited the decision making process and of poor understand of big data in turn create a skepticism about how information and data is used, is stored, analyzed, then a board member prefer to be cautious about the adoption of the technology. Another effect of big data on board of directors is the cognitive overload which occurs when individuals are exposed to more information than they are able to process, with directors feeling that there is no enough hour in a day to solve all the problems related to big data or other digital technology. This can have a negative impact in the decisions as board members may be missing important information and insights that lead to better outcomes. Therefore, it seems that big data does not necessarily mean better quality of information, does better decisions, but it has the potential to be more data-based. If the board of directors and their companies are able to build the capabilities and capacities to explore the opportunities of this technology. With no doubt, there is a clash in pace between the high velocity of big data and the typical lower speed of strategic decision making. And there is a mismatch as well between forward looking strategic decision making and big data that focus on the past and the present. There are examples of directors' acknowledgement of big data analysis empowering faster decisions. The COVID-19 crisis accelerated this process, with several companies and board of directors anticipating decisions about digitalization of process from customer engagement to online selling. Therefore, studies show that there is still a tension between the time to process, analyze, and use the information to decision making, and the amount of data that keep increasing. There are examples of usage of social media by directors extracting insights to make regular and minor modifications to their existing target strategy, for example, seeking, seeking feedback on new products using digital media and having access to a huge quantity of customers' opinions and thinking about a marketing campaign which fed the board with facts to support further decision making. Another tension created by big data is related to strategy making which is future focused, meaning that big data is a hindsight thing and strategy is a foresight thing, and intuitive thinking, and this leads to confusion about when a decision should finally be fixed, partly because of the perceived need to continually go back to the data.
trying to understand what it was saying now. Some companies predicted cross-industry partnerships will be established to benefit from the value added from big data and other digital technologies. For example, the car industry. The car industry is having to retool its entirely production system to meet rising project demand for electric cars while forming partnerships and joint ventures with leading software providers to exploit the emerging marketings for autonomous cars. The competitive battleground and source of value creation has shifted rapidly and radically from the vehicle's hardware to the systems driving it. In order to better explore the opportunities and challenges of big data, boards are hiring chief science officers, CSOs, or chief data science officers, CDSOs, or even chief analytical officers, CAO, to develop new technologies and design innovative big data infrastructure. These new roles typically will have a big data team that is likely to support board decision making, but there is no evidence that this is happening now. There are suggested solutions for tackling these difficulties of digital technologies, as the creation of new directorships, recruitment of those with suitable technical skills, restructuring of the board, or outsourcing big data to ensure the necessary data research and technical capabilities were in place. However, one can make skeptical of the value of big data, for the board of directors and organizational politics at the highest level in companies are what drive it and it is who trusts whom and what the agendas are and it looks like that's not changed that much yet. In conclusion of the second part of our lecture, we reach another one big question. How can a forward-thinking board make the shift from information overload, information cautious and skepticism to innovative ways to use information and data to support better predictive capability that support their decision making. Some authors and specialists believe quick wins in this area are complex and can be achieved. First, focus on operational engagement, specifically implementing fresh tactics to collaboration shaping board structures, especially committees for the value creation, mission, and using technology to stay in touch with what's going on inside and outside of the organization. Then, examine the board behavioral profile, and then ask the question of which traits, or which traits, does your board currently exhibit? I invite you to think, research, and find a way to suggest an answer to this question. Thank you, and see you in the next video.